At the start of 2024, Ukraine formally requested the transfer of M1A1 Abrams tanks from Australia. This request comes as the Australian military prepares to replace its aging fleet of 59 M1A1 tanks with the more advanced M1A2 model. Ukraine's interest in these tanks is underscored by its previous request in 2023 for 14 Australian Abrams, highlighting a consistent push to enhance its armoured capabilities. Initially, the Australian government expressed reluctance to transfer these tanks, citing two main reasons. First, the tanks would need repairs in the US before being sent to Ukraine, and second, Australia wanted to secure replacement tanks before considering any transfers. However, in August 2024, news broke that Australia is decommissioning its last M1A1 Abrams, which could signal a potential shift in this policy. Recent statements from Australian Defence Chief Richard Murleys indicate a softening stance. While he previously stated that transferring the tanks was not on the agenda, sources suggest that the defense minister is now exploring the possibility of supplying them to Ukraine while adhering to U.S. weapons export regulations. Given that the U.S. has already provided Ukraine with 31 Abrams tanks, any remaining hurdles to a transfer may be more political than practical. Public opinion in Australia is increasingly leaning towards supporting the transfer. Former Army Commander Peter Leahy has voiced his surprise at the lack of action emphasizing the availability of spare parts for the tanks. We should put them on a ship and deliver them there, he remarked, expressing concern that the tanks might otherwise be destroyed or discarded. Additionally, former defense official Michael Shoebridge pointed out that the decommissioned Abrams tanks remain in good condition, countering potential arguments against their transfer based on operational readiness. While no official response has yet come from Australia's defense minister or other officials, the momentum appears to be shifting. There is speculation that Australia might agree to transfer a select number of the most combat-ready tanks, potentially allowing for on-site repairs in Ukraine. As discussions progress, the window of opportunity for a transfer seems to be widening, suggesting a potential future collaboration that could bolster Ukraine's armoured capabilities significantly. The situation remains fluid, and further developments will be closely watched by both military analysts and the global community.